Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and um, of course uh, we want to talk this week a little more about the SDRs and the RTL SDR, the SDR Sharp software. One of the things I wanted to also mention is that when you are going to use SDR Sharp as a uh, software for your uh, dongle, RTL SDR dongle or any other device that you might actually uh, want to use remember that in the software itself you have also some choices of um, devices that you can actually use so once you have installed your RTL SDR one of the things that you need to do is install what's called the Zadig driver which is a special driver that will replace the original driver that Windows installs and then here at the um, configuration um, gear, you want to choose what device you are using. You want to make sure that whatever you're using is the correct device. So that's very important to understand that your device needs to be um, needs to be checked out and needs to be installed correctly. And you have to choose the correct SDR. Because there's a list of SDRs that will appear to you um, before all of this, and this needs to be um, installed correctly. So, of course, for an LT RTL SDR V3 and RTL SDR standard, it's a generic RTL 2832U, which is the standard chip that actually uh, is based on RTL SDR software and as RTL SDR device. And of course, once it's properly installed, when you click the play button, you should be getting signals and you should be getting some activity pop up. Um, and, and there should be some activity uh, on here. And we're going to show you some other things that you need to set up right when using the RTL SDR to have it working properly. Because there's also different um, aspects of the of the uh, software that you need to make sure that is installed correctly Maximum in, order, plus a in order for all of that to work there's the AGC we're going to talk about so I'm doing a playlist by the way and that playlist will uh, be a playlist that I'm going to call RTL SDR and so um, it applies to every RTL SDR basically for VHF UHF uh, including the RTL SDR V3, which is a little more advanced than the basic one. But uh, you should be able to listen to some signals after it's properly uh, installed on your computer. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.